It's a crisp fall day here in Denver, Colorado, and with the help of avocados from Mexico, I'm searching around for unique and delicious avocentric dishes that I can have anytime and any place. I'm Lazarus Lynch, and this is Flavor Nation. I'm headed to Linger Etueries, a restaurant situated in a historic building that was once a mortuary. I can't wait to see what amazing avocado dishes I can dig up there. Chef Jeremy. Lazarus. Great nice to meet you. you. Tell me about Linger, man. So Linger is actually a global street food restaurant. So the cuisine is inspired by street food from yes. around the world. Very shareable, very fun place to come. You're getting a taste of all these different places around the world. I think that's so neat. Well, I'm glad to be here. We're so and happy to have you. I'm, I'm hungry, I gotta be honest with you. Well, we have something for you to start you do? off with. Yes. Well, I have one request. What's that? Avocados, please. <laughs> Avocados it is. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the uh, green horchata. Wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, tell me what's inside of it. So we have avocados, we have kale, some uh, uh, rice horchata base, so it's a really healthy, refreshing way to start your brunch off here at Linger. Oh, uh, Chef Jeremy, this is, <laughs> this is really good. Who would have thought to put these avocados in a horchata? I think it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well, that's just the start. I have some more in the kitchen for you. My man, I'm ready, man. Amazing. One thing that we really try to do here at Linger is never throw anything in the garbage. So you have the ham wrapped avocado. Yes. Any of the scrap that we had from the avocado, we went ahead and turned into a pesto. Wow. So this is kind of like a traditional basil and mint pesto sure. with avocado pieces. And then something interesting that we did is we took the pits and actually roasted them, ground them up, and then folded them into the pesto as if it was the cheese. Hold on a second. Yeah. You grounded the pit of the avocado. Yeah, many people don't know that it's actually fully edible. It's actually really nutritious. I love that this is using avocados in, like, I guess, three different ways here. Mmm. Wow, this is really brilliant. And you know what? I can't stop eating it. It is silky, it's smooth, it's creamy. It is avocados to the next level, man. Chef, this was phenomenal. I've got to go. Got more to see, got more to taste. But thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is breathtaking. Breathtaking. Here at Red Rocks. Colorado. It's gorgeous. Nothing like it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, that's a wrap. I'm ready to go eat some more food. Worked up an appetite. It's cold out here in Denver, but it's never too cold for a popsicle. I'm at a Denver staple to see if that creamy avocado flavor can make its way into a delicious frozen treat. Let's go inside. Chris. What's up, Les? My man. How are you, bud? Good to see you. I am awesome. You are the guy who keeps Colorado cool. Yes. With your amazing popsicles. I've seen you've got like incredible flavors. Tell me the beginning of Aiko. So Aiko started on a bicycle. On a bicycle? Yes, literally making some cool, funky flavored popsicles. Ideally, we're just a paleta company with a chef concept. You've got amazing flavors, like over 700 different We've flavors. We've done over 700. Well, Want to taste one? I, yeah, I'd love Let's to. Do it. All right. Whoa! This one right here is a pineapple vanilla. Mmm. That's so yummy. Super pineapple forward, and then the mm. back end, you kind of get that nice vanilla. I feel like I'm on an island. You just like transported me to Hawaii. There you are. This one is in my top five of all time. Okay. It's a blue cheese wildflower honey. I'm gonna be brave and give this a try. Ooh. Subtle. It's not like palate fatigue in any way, shape, or form. It's got a little bit of funk. Oh yeah. I like it. 
I've heard you have an avocado flavored popsicle. Yes, the one that we're gonna make today is an avocado orange. All right, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Rock it out. We've got our beautiful avocados, look amazing. Super ripe. Super They're ripe. Absolutely perfect. Scoop those out into here. So grab one. So next, we're gonna immersion blend. A little simple syrup. I like it. We're gonna add orange essence. So we're gonna blend it up. Now we're perfect. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna scoop like that. Mm -hmm. This is almost like making ice cubes, but just sexier. Sexier. And then that goes right into the mold. Ah, so cool. Now, all right. To the machine. To the machine. To the machine. Freeze the time. Where the hell? Oh my goodness. So we're gonna taste. Taste, taste, Let's taste. A little bit. Okay. Taste. Give that a taste. Oh my God. This is so refreshing. I'm really tasting those avocados. It's paired well with that nice orange flavor you got going in there. Man, this is silky, it's smooth, it's sexy. It's on point. It's on point. I'm gonna eat a whole one. What about you? Oh, yeah, why not? Let's take a whole one. Yep, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle. Let's blow the popsicle. <laughs> Well guys, that's a wrap on avocados here in Denver, Colorado, but the journey doesn't stop. Join my friend Jimmy Wong in Nashville, Tennessee, where he continues the search for unique and delicious avocado dishes. Peace out, y'all.